the Anactus army ants are out for a hunt. They have found the wood lice on the way. Now though these Anactus army ants are the raider of nest of other ants, and they usually loot and eat the brutes of Fedule ants, but here the Anactus army ants are trying to hunt down these wood lice. But it is not an easy task to catch a wood lice. They are not only strong insects, but they also have very smooth and slippery backside, which makes it extremely difficult to catch them. The Anactus army ants are finding no place to bite and hold down the moving wood lice. Now it is not that this wood lice has no vulnerability. In fact, it has several pairs of delicate legs under its body, but they seem to be perfectly hidden under its smooth slippery body. And so the Anactus army ants are not getting any chance to bite the legs of this wood lice. However, the strength of the army ants lies in their huge number, and so the poor wood lice is finding no place to escape from these ants, as the army ants seems to be present everywhere. However, after much struggle and running here and there aimlessly, the wood lice finally finds a way to the nearby brick. However, two Anactus army ants are still riding on his back and trying to bite it. But eventually, the Anactus army ant worker give up their effort to catch the wood lice. And so ultimately the wood lice leaves the place safe and unhurt. This is a different scenario where a wood lice is again caught in between dozens of angry ants. But these ants are not the army ants. These ants are the specialized wood lice killer ants. These are the red leptogens. And these ants knows how to catch a wood lice. Look how this leptogens worker is holding the wood lice in between the plates in his back. The hood lice uses all of its strength and makes a final attempt to run away. But these leptogens are super fast and they soon catch the hood lice. The hood lice struggles. It starts making serious effort to free itself. It tries its best to get away from the ants. But just one venomous sting from a leptogens worker and all the struggles of the hood lice stops instantly. The hood lice if not killed is paralyzed by now. The leptogens ants soon begin to gather around the paralyzed wood lice. And soon, the motionless body of the wood lice is surrounded by a swarm of the red ants. What are they doing? They are probably eating the wood lice alive. Now never before in my life have I seen any other ant as voracious as this leptogens ants. The leptogens continue to feed greedily on the lifeless body of the wood lice. And after 15 minutes of feeding, this is all that is left of the wood lice. This part of the wood lice has been eaten without a trace.